Previously on Powerboat Nation. I got a boat ride set up, so we'll go out on the 32 sensation. Come on! Ah, no. I covered up my lunch stain. That's it's cool. such a good lunch. Hey, today we're going to run over to Cigarette and take a look at a couple of their new center consoles. Got down here to Cigarette, super excited to see the new offerings they brought. The 42 Huntress we know about, the Sporty 2 Huntress GTO, super cool boat. Actually just walking up to a 41 GTO is pretty rare since it's one of Cigarette's newest boats. I was excited that we just even got to get on the boat. This boat's been leaned out, more of a day boat, absolutely fantastic ride. I think one of the biggest differences in a cigarette performance boat is just the quality of the interior. When you look at the fit and the finish of a cigarette boat, it really shows the standard upon which most of the other boats in the industry are measured by. Cigarettes detail in the interior work is something you find in a high-end luxury automobile. Sitting at the helm on a cigarette, it's perfect. Everything is positioned properly. The helm, the throttles, the Garmin displays, Head height windshield, footrest bolster, absolutely perfect. On the cigarette boat, you're going to expect the best of the best. Mercury engines, of course, 400 R's on this one. First time seeing the 400 carbon additions for any of us. We were very impressed. Nice looking cowlings, really brings the 400 to life. Okay, listen, when you walk up to a 41 GTO and you get to the back of the transom and there's four new 400 carbon series outboards, you know you've got the hottest power on them. I am always impressed by the cigarette quality. You see it in everything they do. Everything we know is done in-house, from the fiberglass laminate layup to the final stitching that goes into the upholstery. That makes the cigarette difference. This is quality. Not just the materials, but the fit, the finish, the way that the piping's done, the way that the stitching's done with different color contrast. It's not just done like a lot of people do it. It is quality. The other unique feature is cigarette is exclusively in-house. Everything is done at the cigarette factory in a clean environment. Probably the one of the most pristine factories that you'll ever see in boat building. Down checking out this enormous cabin on the 42 GTO sitting around the settee table that goes up and down electronically with Scott. Air conditioning, tons of room, what do you think? I think it's incredible. I mean, you know, what a great way to get out of the weather or get out of the sun and just come down here and relax. Huge space, full head height. Is that a full stand-up head? I don't know, where's JW? <laughs> oh no, you didn't, did you? Oh, that's a nice bathroom. It's nice and cool down there, AC was running. Uh, had to take a little quick break. I gotta go. Oh my God, I gotta get out of here. There's a full walk-in head down there, and for whatever reason, Jackass JW decides he's gotta use it in the boat show. The main difference with the GTO versus the standard Huntress is the cabin access. You have a full walk-around access now, instead of being peninsula in, not that that's a bad thing on the standard Huntress because it does give you more cabin room, but they're promoting the GTO as more of a day cruiser. Still get all the way around the front, but have access to a nice size cabin. In all seriousness, Cigarette just isn't a luxury brand in fit, finish, and appearance, also in performance. 76 miles an hour on his maiden voyage, right? Right. 80 miles an hour should be just a couple of tweaks away. So when you're out boating with your best friends, So when you're out with your <laughs> So when you're out boning with your best friend Shut up. Stop touching me. So when you're out on your boat with your best friends, there's no better place to be than on the bow of a cigarette. We don't even like you. Not all our boat tests are big and glamorous. Brad said we'd find some big boats. We finally did it. You said I could drive. You can drive this. You can't get in any trouble with this AD inflatable and it's a hot suit. 41 GTR was another boat on display. 
lots of changes there. This boat is 11 foot beam compared to the Huntress, which is an 11 11 beam. A more sportier version of the cigarette center console experience. To me, one of the features that I like are the new options they brought to the boat, which is double row of seating as an option or a aft facing seating type of configuration. Cigarette now offers, as an option, additional rolls of bolsters to rock it across the water. This is something super important, something I really like. I like the fact that they brought JL Audio Secure system where they come directly into the factory and they build and design a sound system for the entire boat so that they can maximize the output without a ton of speakers and a bunch of added weight. So it's a partnership with Cigarette Racing. It's a pretty cool feature, really. JW, what do you think? Well, the uh, windbreaker is pretty cool. New to market windscreens that fold out, simply swing out, takes a lot of the wind drag that comes into these boats away. They say they've run the boat up to 80 miles an hour with no vibrations. So they're partnering with Garmin, bringing all the latest electronics, and no expense spared on anything. They listen to everybody's input. They don't just try to control it all in-house. They bring those people into their house and let them design it. So Brad, I know you run one of these. What's the difference with the dash? I mean, it looks really well laid out. It is. It's, it's, it's fantastic. All of these cigarettes have similar configurations. We've got triple Garmin displays that are fully integrated. We can put stereo here. We can put chart here, gauges here. we got the brand new vessel view, which is integrated right in front of us, so we can monitor all of the engine systems independently from here or replicated on the Garmin. You know, one of the things that I noticed about the cigarette is they spare no expense on hardware. When you look at the different center consoles in the market, you'll notice cigarette has a stainless steel filled helm in their boats. A lot of boats just feature plastic inexpensive type of things. I mean, cigarette looks all the way to every inch of the boat. No question about it. And you can see that. You can feel that. Absolutely. And you can experience it when you go ride one of these boats. There is a difference. And you won't know it until you get in the boat and run the boat. Every boat's a cigarette boat, right? Every boat wants to be a cigarette boat. Exactly. Next time on Power Boat Nation stop by and see the brand new Nortec. I've got something a little bit more exciting than that. We get to ride in Skater's new V-Bottom. This is cushy. When you show up for a performance boat trial, you make sure you bring your Power Boat Nation Life Wine.